Hello there and welcome to lesson 11 in the Scratch series to learn programming. Today you're going to receive input to storing variables so that you can calculate the area of any solar panel. Yes, today's theme is solar power. Eskom currently mainly uses coal to generate power. However, coal is not a renewable source of energy and it releases plenty of carbon dioxide that's not good for us or the environment. South Africa plans to use 30% renewable energy by 2030. Malls use a lot of electricity to create a pleasant atmosphere for clients with lighting and air conditioning. Large shopping centers can contribute to the addition of clean renewable energy by providing the electricity that they and the tenants need themselves. Several macro stores and the George Airport are already doing this. The owners of the Mall of Africa have invested millions in solar panels on the roof of the center. This means that they do not have any problems when Eskom implements load shedding. And they save a lot because they don't have to buy power from Eskom. They can even contribute electricity to the national power network. The solar panels also drop the carbon footprint for the Mall of Africa considerably. Your carbon footprint is a measure of how much carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere by your doing. Solar panels, which are installed on the roof, collect solar energy and convert it into direct current electricity, which is then sent to a device that converts the power to charge batteries. The batteries then deliver power for lighting and appliances such as televisions, computers, hair dryers, washing machines, dishwashers, kettles and toasters. Many smaller systems cannot handle the stove, oven and geysers. Now answer the questions in your workbook. Many computer programs require you to input values to allocate to variables. For example, if the program needs to calculate the area of a rectangle, you may need to input the length and the breadth of the rectangle. We will use the ask and answer blocks in the sensing group to do this. This light blue block will display a window at the bottom of the scratch stage to type input values. Like this. Note how the value in the variable is replaced or overwritten every time you type in a new value. This light blue block stores the most recent word or number that was received with the ask and wait block. This block's value can be displayed on stage by selecting the box to the left of the block. The word or number you type is stored in the answer block and should usually be assigned to a variable as each new answer you enter in the ask block overwrites the previous value. Try it now. If you're writing a program to calculate the area of a rectangle, you will need to enter the length and the breadth of the rectangle. Do you see how the answer block's value is overwritten when you read a value for B? If you did not store the value for the length of the variable in L, it would have been overwritten and you would not be able to use it. To do calculations, we use the light green blocks in the operators group. These light green blocks will add, subtract, multiply or divide the values in the parameters and then contain the answer. The numbers can be typed in directly into the blocks or you can drag variables into the placeholders. These blocks can be nested. That means you can use these blocks inside one another to make more complicated calculations. Note that each block works as if there are parentheses around it and the order of precedence, bod mass, applies to calculations. Operations in brackets are done first, thereafter division and multiplication follows and subsequently addition and subtraction. Therefore, you must put the blocks together correctly to get the correct answer. Here, 
L and B are added together and then the sum is multiplied by 2. But here, L is multiplied by 2 and then B is added. For example, if you're writing a program to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle, you must input the length and the breadth as before. And then you have to create two more variables, area and perimeter. Calculate the area and the perimeter. Create a program in Scratch with a solar panel in the background. Save the program as solar. Ask for the length and the breadth of the solar panel in meters. Then calculate the area of the solar panel in square meters and the energy that can be generated in watt if one square meter of this type of solar panel delivers 115 watt. Display the answers and save all the changes to your program. Here is an example of what your program might look like and how it will work. Use the design cycle again. Consciously consider alternative solutions and plan the solution, program and test. Write down any questions you have about this exercise in your workbook. Do research to find the solutions. For instance, do you know how to calculate the area of a rectangle? Do you know how to calculate the amount of watts that the solar panel delivers? Brainstorm potential ideas for the solution with your friends. Choose the names for your variables. Decide how many buttons you will use. You can either use one for everything or maybe separate ones to input data, calculate answers and output the results. Plan the layout of the stage with the background and where the sprites will be. Then write down the steps to code, including the input you need, formulas that you will use to calculate the answers and how you will display the output. Follow your own algorithm to write the program and test constantly to check if everything is working the way it's supposed to. Like before, write down some thoughts about what you've learned, felt and experienced in this lesson. In the next lesson, you will use variables and if blocks to calculate and compare the volume of rainwater tanks. Until then, goodbye.